As many of you know, uh, I was seriously dismayed uh, and disappointed, and so was uh, the bulk of our community here in the northern San Joaquin Valley, uh, with the authorities' earlier announcement to delay service uh, to Merced. Uh, since that time, our communities rallied, joined together, uh, every level of government, every level of advocacy, and as of yesterday, there is a new proposal, uh, a new amendment, so to speak, to the business plan uh, that puts Merced back at the front of the line, as well as making uh, commitments and uh, significant improvements to both ACE Rail, uh, as well as the San Joaquin uh, Rail Line, which taken uh, in its entirety is a great success for the Northern San Joaquin Valley, a great success for California, uh, a great success uh, for the future of high-speed rail. With this new plan, with this new investment, with Merced at the front line, we're going to have a 42-minute ride uh, into the Bay Area, uh, potentially taking, yes. <laughs> taking thousands uh, of commuters uh, off the road, reducing congestion in the Altamont and the Pacheco, uh, and giving access uh, to our communities here in the northern San Joaquin Valley for economic prosperity, uh, a cleaner environment and a better quality of life. It's just as important that we make those investments in ACE uh, and the rail, the San Joaquin Rail, so that we have a robust uh, connectivity uh, throughout uh, Northern California that includes BART, that includes ACE, that includes the Capital Corridor, the San Joaquin, and of course high-speed rail, uh, allowing us to move about to each and every community and enjoy those benefits. Mm -hmm.